they'll be calling you a radical. Don't look now, but your Bitcoin is under 19,000, soon to go to 40 bucks. How about G? G? G's down near seven dollars. Whoa, uh, uh, it did an eight for one reverse split. Remember when everybody it bounced? And I was calling it a dead cat bounce, catch the fallen nuclear energy knife in the back. Oh, this billionaire went all in at 12, 13, 14. He, there's the smart ones. Okay, okay. Let me tell you, wealth in this country and intelligence are asymmetric. They are not correlated. And you, now I want to ask people, which one do you think is the biggest Ponzi scheme? Wake me up before you go, go. Which is the biggest Ponzi scheme? Bitcoin or General Electric? You know they're both promoted by the same people. The same people. Who? CNBC. Remember Jack Welch? Oh my God. I'll get worse. Remember Jeff Rimmel? I mean, flying one plane after another. Uh, remember Fukushima? <laughs> uh, you forgot. They never forgot about you. What about Culp? Culp. You know what the stock's done under Culp? Just down another 60-70%. Reward for failure. You look at his package. When are you guys going to wake up and realize General Electric <laughs> is focusing? Who's the bigger Ponzi scheme? General Electric or crypto? Now remember, crypto went, went under 30. The hedge fund billionaire from New York is on there saying, back up the truck. I remember when GE went under 40. Kramer. Back up the truck. When I want to earn 30, I'll buy all of it I can get. And you let them off the hook. They're criminals. They're criminals. The pom-pom team. They made so much money off this. Pump and dump. I mean, it used to be against a lot. Pump and dump. What do you think crypto is? Pump and dump. I mean, unbelievable sham. Like GE. Like the stimulus package. Loans? Loans? They were not. That's one of the biggest, well, probably the biggest ripoff in American history. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of when 2011, the summer of 2011, when I had you shorting silver when it was in the 40s. Everybody, I mean, it was me against Tsunami. Oh, it's the greatest thing in the world. Everybody in the world coming up to me telling me you got to buy silver. And gold. Remember when gold was 1900? That was 11 years ago. And I was shorting it. Remember I was telling you go all in Tesla? Remember going all in Apple? Tesla's so grotesquely overvalued now. But then, how come you didn't do it? I did do it. I did do it. What happened? Play back the tape, Your Honor. Son of consent. People will not listen to me. You know how rich you'd be if you followed my financial advice? By the way, I'm so broke and so freaking wiped out, I don't even have a car. Plates are up on my old beater day. What happened to you? I got cancer, as you know, in the fall of 2011. I had just under a million dollars in the stock market. I was uninsured. I had to fork it over to get into the bone marrow transplant unit. Remember I had you going all in Apple? Remember I had you going in all Tesla in 2011? Remember I had you shorting silver at 49? Remember, I had you, remember when I had you shorting freaking Bitcoin? At 60, 50, 40? Remember, play back the tape. Remember when I had you shorting G? Remember when it, at 50, at 40, at 30, remember when it dead cat bounced and everybody's like, oh, oh, Blanche, it went from, you know, by the way, Donald Trump Jr. said buy the dips before it was announced that the feds were going to buy all these stocks. And he knew that's called insider trading. This is the greatest pump and dump, well, besides your real estate values. The, I want to ask you, let's have a poll, you know, let's have a. What do you think is the bigger Ponzi scheme? General Electric or crypto? And they'll say, well, they're both freaking horrific against the environment. You ain't a kid and they're horrific against the environment. Nobody cares about the environment. It's all wealth, 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 growth for the sake of growth. The ideology of cancer cells. <laughs> uh, your health is your wealth. When a doctor looks you right in the eyes <laughs> until you got two months to live, you know. Yeah, I broke that way. But I'm rich the other way because I've fought against these earth poisoners. I fight for her. She fights for we from the sea. Huh. What about Fukushima? <laughs> you forgot about it. It never forgot about you. You know, all your money going to save you. No, it's not going to save you.
In fact, it'll probably take you. Comfortability is not the zenith of life. And all the sham artists that have pump and dumped crypto. So I made lots and lots of bets all over the internet the last two, three years when it was going psycho. And I have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of bets that crypto would go under 19 before it went over 100. They don't pay. It's back under 19. Dead cat bounce. Catch the falling nuclear energy knife in the back. Remember when that guy took all the credit, he set the price target at G666? Play back the tape. No, I did that long before he did. Influencer? <laughs> uh, it's just fire. It's just the will. It's just Kevin Blanche's YouTube camera. But you won't listen to me because you're so caught up in political dogma. <laughs> G to the moon! Crypto to the moon! What's my price tag on crypto? 400 bucks. What's my price tag on GE? Should have already been. Saved by zero. Saved by the fix. Kramer, CNBC, all those people that promoted it. It's a Ponzi scheme. And they were the promoters. They were the pom-pom team. CNBC. There's a culprit. <laughs> Which is the bigger Ponzi scheme? GE or Bitcoin? What a sham. Them billionaires, they're smart ones! <laughs> Stay in tuned.